What is going on you guys welcome back to a, another video and to the channel so i finally have some e90 content for you guys in today's video i'm going to be adding two new carbon fiber accessories to my bmw e90 those of you who may be new here this is my 2009 bmw 328i x drive that i have had for almost five years now and i have modified it quite a bit uh, if you guys can tell in the background However, I have not done any modifications in quite a while. I believe the last thing I did were the ESR wheels, and that was back in July of last year. So it's been like six months that I've done anything uh, to this car. Today will be the first time in six months that I added something new to the E90. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be adding two new carbon fiber pieces to the car. So let's get into the video here. So here is a good look at my E90 328i. And before I get into showing you guys the new pieces, I kind of wanted to do a recap of all of the carbon pieces I currently have on the car right now. So starting up front here, you guys can see I have a pair of carbon fiber M-style grills. And then I also have carbon fiber front splitters on my M-Sport front bumper. And then coming over here, I have a pair of M-style carbon fiber mirror caps on both sides. And then moving to the rear end, I have a performance style carbon fiber spoiler lip. Nothing crazy. I honestly don't like aggressive looking spoiler lips. I like more subtle, thinner spoiler lips like this one. So yeah, those are all of the carbon fiber pieces I currently have on the car. And today, like I said, I'm going to be adding two more pieces. And I'm actually thinking of adding more carbon fiber, uh, like carbon fiber side skirts, carbon fiber front lip, and then a carbon fiber diffuser. But we'll get to that later. So the two new carbon fiber accessories that I'm going to be adding to the car are here. I have a carbon fiber shark fin antenna cover overlay that just simply goes on top of your antenna right there, or my antenna. And then here I have a set of carbon fiber pillars that are also overlays, so they just simply stick on top. And for those of you who may not know what the pillars are, those are going to be these pieces here those pieces there those are the pillars and those carbon fiber pieces are just going to simply stick on top 
and give a nice carbon fiber look. So this set comes with all six pieces for every single pillar. There's three on this side and then three on the other side. So yeah, these are the two new pieces, nothing crazy, and they are going to be very easy to install since you just simply stick them on top of the pieces already on the car. And both of these are gonna be new products from inline6auto.com, my store. So if you guys want any of the carbon fiber pieces I actually showed you guys just now that I have on the car, they are all available on inline6auto.com. I'll leave a link in the description as usual if you guys want to check those out by the end of the video. So anyway, let's get into installing these on the car. Should be very quick and easy since, like I said, just stick them on top of the existing pieces already on the car. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean the antenna real quick before I apply the carbon fiber piece with the 3M tape. So I just got some soapy water here and a simple microfiber towel. One thing I wanted to note is that I already applied some ceramic coating to the surface of the antenna piece uh, since it's going to be directly in the sun majority of the time and that could lead to fading and yellowing and just basically sun damage. So ceramic coating helps prevent that. So yeah, I definitely recommend ceramic coating any carbon fiber piece you put on the car because that'll help prevent any sun damage. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on. I'll go ahead and remove the cover on top of the 3M tape. go it is completely seated on top of the antenna and I think it's stuck on there pretty securely so yeah that completes the install for the carbon fiber antenna piece so here is another look I think it looks really good nothing crazy but you know just adds a nice touch of carbon fiber in addition to the other carbon fiber parts on the car All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install these carbon fiber pillar overlay pieces. And like I said, they just come with the adhesive backing already on the backside. So these are gonna be very easy to install. Alright, so I moved the car over a bit into the sun so that we can get a nice look at these carbon fiber pillars. And as you guys can see, these have a very vibrant carbon fiber look when they're in the sun. It looks really good. They look really good. They all have a very 3D looking carbon fiber appearance. The carbon fiber finish on these is excellent. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 in that aspect. 
As far as the fitments, I'd say these were really good. Um, for overall, they fit nearly perfectly on each of the pillars. None of them were too wide or too narrow or too long or too short. They all fit pretty evenly and symmetrically along the pillars. Uh, I would say the only kind of fitment issue is uh, on this piece on the bottom there. It isn't really at a slant. It's more of at like a straight line. And this piece is kind of angled, so there's a tiny gap right there. And I believe it's on the other side too. Let's go take a look. Yeah, you can see there, another tiny gap. So I would say that's the only fitment issue on these. Uh, these pillars, like I said, fit nearly perfectly. You can't really tell that they are overlays, honestly, from some angles. So yeah, overall, I think these two carbon fiber accessories look really good. And thinking about it now, I could have totally done these two pieces like a long time ago. Like I said, I've had this car for almost five years now and I've never done these. These are both very easy mods and cheap mods to do. Um, but honestly, uh, I didn't mind the gloss black pillars on my E90. I know some other E90s have the chrome pillars, I believe which, as we know, us car enthusiasts don't really like chrome. So I had the gloss black, so I never thought to add like carbon fiber pillars. I had seen them before, but never really like thought about, oh, I should get that since I didn't mind the gloss black. And then for the carbon fiber antenna piece, uh, I honestly really didn't mind the paint match antenna look. Uh, I think it looked pretty clean. But uh, just recently, since I've had the car for so long, some of these mods I've had on the car for like three years. Like I did them like a year after I bought the car. So I've been, they've been on the car for a long time. And on top of that, there are some things like I didn't do like the pillars and the antenna. And just recently, I've been wanting to do different things to the car. Um, since I've had the car so long, I just want to try something new. I don't want to keep it, you know with the same look. So yeah, that is why I decided to try these out. I honestly wouldn't mind keeping the gloss black pillars or no carbon fiber antenna because I think the car looks still just as clean. However, these carbon fiber pieces definitely add a cool carbon fiber look that matches with the other pieces that are on the car. So yeah, looking at the car now, I just think it looks so clean so good. I absolutely love how this car looks. I feel like I've done a pretty good job on these mods on and making the car look clean. Like honestly, I think the car I think I did a really really good job in my unbiased opinion. I think the car looks awesome and I've gotten tons of compliments from you guys on here and on Instagram. So, I do appreciate the, you know, reassurance essentially that uh, I I did a good job. So, uh, yeah, I think that is about going to do it for these two carbon fiber accessories. Now, like I mentioned, I am probably gonna add more carbon fiber pieces. I think I'm gonna get rid of like the gloss black look on the front lip and the side skirt extensions and then the diffuser. I think I'm gonna try to get some carbon fiber parts and replace these, the front lip, the side skirts and the diffuser for carbon fiber pieces. So yeah, here's one final good look at the 90 for the video. So if any of you guys are interested in these two products, they are now live on the site, inline6auto.com, with a bunch of other carbon fiber pieces, all the carbon fiber pieces that I mentioned that are on the E90, like the grills, the splitters, and the mirror caps, and the spoiler lip, those are all available and are live on the website, inline6auto.com. I'll leave a link to it, as usual, in the description if you guys want to check them out. And as usual, I just want to say thank you if any of you guys out there purchase any parts from the store. I appreciate the support 100%. It is still amazing that I do have people that are interested in the parts I have to offer. And I'm helping you guys find you know mods for your E90. Um, it really is just awesome. I can have some sort of an impact and influence uh, in the BMW community. So thank you again. So that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. And if you made it this far, you watched the entire video. Thank you, that is awesome to hear. I'm glad you enjoyed 
uh, the video that much that you stayed all the way to the end. I appreciate it 100%. I really do enjoy making videos and I'm going to try to make more videos as much as I can um, in the coming months, coming years for as long as I can. So yeah guys, if you did indeed enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.